Boom. Hey, Internet. Had a good question from Larry Wells. And uh, he was asking, I'm going to kind of paraphrase it, but um, how do you know if your brand will create demand? Uh, what determines these factors? How do you know when to switch up your style before it goes under? Uh, great question. And the reason I wanted to make a video about it is besides all the technical questions that you guys might ask about a brand, whether it's production or marketing, um, any kind of nitty gritty, this is like the big underlying question, right? And I think early when I launched the channel, I feel like the tone of the first like 40 videos was really kind of bleak uh, because I was describing a lot of the time how tough it is. Uh, I say all the time you don't know what you don't know and you get a kind of a glimpse even if you watch all my videos you kind of get a glimpse for it but if, if you really saw what it's like even for brands that are established if I come in as a design director um, or a consultant or something for a brand that that does at least is doing two million dollars there's typically a whole lot of holes in the boat um, I like to say that that got to get plugged or or changed or fixed um, in some form or another, and that's when it's already uh, churning a profit. So, a lot of times the beginning of the channel, I'm thinking about brands where I would help people out. It's just like a friend of a friend or a favor um, to just talk about their launching, and a lot of that was how many ways a brand can die. So um, it's a big question, Larry, about how do you know if it'll create demand? Um, a lot of the videos on this channel is just trying to create the best presentation possible to launch or create some sort of market share um, and notoriety for the brand so that you can have the opportunity to make sales. Um, so my short answer is there's no way to know. That's why you have to do so much due diligence. One, number two, you gotta be. I'm gonna use a P word. You gotta be passionate about it, or else, or else you would do another business. Do you know what I mean? Like, like getting into a tech business is, is has much better likelihood of blowing up with less risk than say a business model for apparel, where you have to deal with uh, physical goods that need to be sold. Um, so. It is a tough business uh, for that reason and for multiple reasons. So there is no way to see if there is demand, but you can do all the little things that I talk about in this channel to try to prepare your brand uh, to, to receive success and, and try a bunch of different things and keep changing it out. So when, when do you switch up your style? If, if a style is not selling, get as much feedback as you can and then maybe try to flip it if you're in love with it or just or just try to face up to the fact that maybe you have to change a few things out maybe you even have to change up the logo that you've come up with um, there, there's a million different factors in trying again um, but a lot of the elements of this channel are trying to minimize that risk so kind of an answer hope that helps but a lot of answers in the channel um, if this brings up anything for you guys any other questions please drop them down below Follow the kid on social media when you get a chance. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.